Good morning, FX fans. This is Privateer FX coming at you on a Tuesday morning. First of May. Most of my European neighbors are having the day off today. But we are on the road. Let's see what happened overnight. Trump extended tariff exemptions for U.S. allies, including the EU, by a final 30 days. That, uh, I guess that's a bit risk on, and this is why uh, S&P's popped up just a wee bit. Still a very bearish day, bearish engulfing on the dailies. But let's keep in mind, this is bearish engulfing mid-range. Not quite as powerful as bearish engulfing at the top or bottom of a range. Uh, that said, we've already made a new low today. I do believe this is a sell-on rally. We all saw Netanyahu yesterday fuck up the oil market. <coughs> We got to our level exactly. That was just uncanny, the timing of that. Um, 67.14, the low. Sorry, 67.17, the low. We're selling through 10. Makes the level better. It's kind of annoying. It's annoying for a num number of reasons, like possible of a global world war. Not to be uh, forgotten. These fucking idiots. Uh, anyway, we don't want to get into politics too much, but uh, there's bad news on the horizon. I think it's going to continue risk off. I think uh, oil is going to continue to squeeze higher now, so we do not want to sell high ones in oil. We are waiting for 67.10. Waiting. This has now become a break trade. So let's put oil aside for now and look at our friend the euro yen short yesterday i would say it paid didn't pay a lot uh we got down to 88 <coughs> uh now we're just getting this looks like a nice little setup here for further downside in euro yen today 131.88 we had the low of the air yesterday we had the low before at 88 and a half we had this low here at 80 um we're watching stocks, but we are well aware that Europe is out. So less liquidity, less action today. Um, Labor Day, as it is in Europe. I don't know why they need a Labor Day. Nobody works over here anyway. But uh, Labor Day. Good job, guys. Uh, in the UK, we've got this also pretty sweet setup. A little bit obvious for my taste, but not to be ignored kind of kind of reminds me of oil with the miracle print what did we print yesterday 12 <laughs> what was the other print from uh, 1st of uh, March the low in the 1st of March was 11.7 just can't make this up anyway OBCTA is selling below that we've got uh PMI and mortgage approvals out of the UK. Those are likely going to be sucky. So let's get ready to sell some sterling today. It'll probably be done around the numbers. But we do have our uh, <coughs> antenna up for a possible move uh, at the open, at the London Open in one hour's time. What else is there? Dollar Swiss, uh, 99.22 has been the high a couple of times. You kind of, kind of keep an eye on that. There are a lot of people trying to fade Dollar Swiss because of the number of green bars. But that's fool's gold, people. It's not really a great strategy. Um, so I wouldn't fade Dollar Swiss uh, until we get to parity. You know, uh, there should be some probably buy buy interests above 20 today. I'm not trading it. Everyone who follows Privateer knows how I feel about Dollar Swiss. Um, so focus is basically on Euro Yen and Cable today. We will look at this Dollar Yen. We tried our shorts yesterday. Scratched it with the Netanyahu announcement. Um, looks like we're just sideways. Both sides are in play now. Not really sure which way it's going to go. I would assume it's going to go lower, but 
<coughs> there's also going to be some risk above uh, 109.54. So we're just going to leave dollar yen alone for today. Anyway, uh, that's about it uh, for now. Let's check out the DXY. Where are we? Yeah, this is kind of important. This 200-day moving average DXY 91.97. Let's call it 92 the figure. Through 92 the figure, the dollar is going to have a hard time resisting. So that's euro through the lows, dollar Swiss through the highs, and then it'll also probably drag dollar yen up. So keep an eye on that, people, uh, in the DXY. Yield 296. Equities. Where's Bitcoin this morning? 8,900, down 3%. Nothing to do there. All right. Good luck today, guys. I am signing off, and I'll see you at the New York Open. Ciao.